Hi all, this is part 4 of ICSE map work. In this video, we will learn how to mark the cities and minerals in India. Let's learn how to mark cities and minerals in India. So, this is our board examination map. First, Srinagar. You see, this is River Jhelum and this is the origin of River Jhelum. Put a point exactly on this origin. This is River Jhelum. So, mark it using an arrow pointing towards the place. Next, we have Delhi, the capital city. This is River Yamuna. And take a scale. You see, this is the Indian boundary, Nepal, between India and Nepal. From here, you keep a scale. And where it cuts River Yamuna? exactly okay mark it to the left side of river yamuna do not put it inside the river do not put it to the right side of the river mark it to the left side of river yamuna now this is delhi delhi and from delhi exactly northward if you take a scale and measure exactly one centimeter from delhi here okay this is like I told, write it in capital letters. And Allahabad is very easy to mark. It is the confluence of river Yamuna and Ganga. So in the center, you mark it as Allahabad. Now, coming to the river Rhine port, that is Kolkata. Can you imagine cursive writing letter I? In cursive writing, we put letter I like this, right? So just this is that I. So on top of I, okay? This is Kolkata. It should not touch the coast, but it should be very, very close to the coast because it is a river Rhine port. This is Kolkata. And one more major city is Mumbai. For Mumbai, it's very easy. The west coast, you already see a black dot. That black dot is Mumbai. You don't have to do anything. It's already there. Now, coming to the minerals. First, we have the oldest oil field in India, which is Dig Boy. For drawing Dig Boy, can you imagine an eyebrow? We usually draw an eyebrow for a doll like this, right? So just like that, imagine this as the eyebrow and this as the eye. This is Dig Boy. This is the oldest oil field as well as it's an onshore oil field. Then we have a coal field, Zaria. So you imagine this as letter Y. This is river Damodar. So in the center of river Damodar, between these two fork-like structures, this is Zaria. Then we have an iron ore field, Singbam. To draw Singbam, take a scale from the mouth of river Mahanadi, draw a straight line. And from this eye of Kolkata, that is cursive writing I, I told no, draw a straight line. The place where these two lines meet, the intersection, this is Singbam. This is an iron ore field. Coming to Mumbai High, it is an offshore oil field. For drawing Mumbai High, Mumbai High is actually to the northwest of Mumbai. So from Mumbai, take 0 0.7 centimeter. Uh, and little above, okay, this is actually exactly 0 0.7. I'm marking it little towards the north because it's in the northwest. So this is Mumbai High. Don't take these arrows very long throughout the map and there should not be any crisscrossing of arrows. Crisscrossing of arrows means uh, the place over here should not be marked like this. The arrows should not crisscross each other like this. Okay, these are some uh, rules related to arrow that you should remember. Vishagapatnam, it's a shipbuilding center. Can you imagine a W, letter W, like this? The end of this letter W is Vishagapatnam. So here we have Vishagapatnam. Remember, whenever you mark a port city like Mumbai or Vishagapatnam or Chennai, it should just touch the coast on the 
in land inside the land and not into the sea if you mark visakhapatnam inside the sea like this it is wrong it should be marked inside the land and then we have hyderabad for drawing hyderabad again take your scale this is the confluence of river krishna and tungabhadra from the confluence you take 0.7 cm so this is hyderabad this is visakhapatnam and coming to bengaluru and chennai again it's very very easy to mark you see this is the origin of river kaveri so from the origin you take a scale and you draw a straight line like this where it cuts the east coast this is chennai another important city so here again it is a coastal area coastal city so i am not drawing it inside the sea nor should you draw it on the line it should be inside the land but it should touch the coast these are the rules when it comes to port cities and bengaluru is actually on the very same line that i have drawn here but for bengaluru you draw one more line from this kaveri you see kaveri is going up at this place so exactly from this point you take a scale and you draw a line so the point where they intersect this is bengaluru so this is chennai and finally we come to kochi from here you see just below kaveri there is a line here there is a horizontal line from the horizontal line you draw a straight line using your scale where it touches the west coast this is kochi so here again i am drawing it inside the land and not inside the arabian sea okay so whenever you draw a port city make sure that you touch the coast but you don't draw it inside the sea thank you for watching if you like my video do click the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also contact me through the comment section and clear your doubts if any bye bye